Que pasa, people? Que pasa? Hit me. Hello and welcome to What? American TV's Soul Sensation. I'm Chris Strouth, and once again I will be your guide for the next 30 minutes through the forces most mortal men refer to as alternative rock and roll. And tonight, do we have a heck of a show for you. Hot diggity dog. It features an up-and-coming local combo featuring three guys and a drum machine. I refer, of course, to Bunny. And now here they are, the melodic, mournful musings of Bunny. talking with Bunny, Jim, Jesse, and Courtney. So, Bunny. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> what uh, what uh, made you guys name the band Bunny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we still the real reason. Oh, Make one we, up. We can't, say. we can't tell the real story. Sure we can. We can. Yeah, there's no, a can. Yeah, we can. There's can we? I don't know. Fine. Jim, why don't you go ahead and explain uh, that? No, I'm not going to explain the whole thing. But I, I was just randomly coming up with names, and uh, Courtney liked it a lot for a certain reason that Courtney should explain. Actually, there's this... Uh, this underground filmmaker and there's this uh, performance artist in this one video that I saw. This guy has uh, <laughs> rickets and he does a tap dance on kind of a sterile Texas lawn and his name is Bunny. So that was kind of how we came up with it. So really it's about uh, rickets. Sure, <laughs> sort of, I guess. Yeah. Malnutrition. So, uh, so where do you guys play? What do you... What's what's a typical gig? Where are you playing soon? Who have you played with? <clears throat> well, we have a gig coming up at the 24 bar on the 16th of February. But uh, who have we played with? I don't even know. Uh, Colfax Abbey. We did a um, show at the, at the Red Eye Theater. We had a gig with a, another singer a couple years ago. We played with Lice and Shry, Monster Zero. What was that? McCready's? Yeah, before they turned that into a porno shop. Have you been there yet? Um, no, I haven't actually, no. We've been meaning to. So uh, you play with like Colfax Abbey? Yes. And, uh, who are uh, your... Tweed's another band we played with. You know, you get a show at a bar and they just set you up with three, two or three other bands. and you Actually, the, the guy who books the bands at the 24 has a hard time finding uh, other bands that are appropriate to play with us. So we just say, well, whoever, we don't care. So how would you uh, describe uh, the uh, the bunny sound? A proverbial question. It's a <clears throat> it's an avalanche of loud garbage. <laughs> so do you think you get a lot of flack because you don't have a uh, have a real live drummer? No, not at all. We we were a little paranoid about it first, but then people people seem to like it. They're a little skeptical. They go, "Oh, drum machine. This must be a techno band." And then we play it. We're loud garbage, so they enjoy it. Seems that way, anyway. The problem is the drum machine still gets all the girls. <laughs> Almost every time. Yeah. The Reverend Mother is the drum machine. But he still gets all the girls. She. Wow, so it's a lesbian drum machine. Yeah.
You are watching the Soul Sonic Force known as What? with special guest Bunny. an island and there was an island off the coast of the Pacific somewhere and you can just uh, basically shove anyone you didn't like on it who'd you be shoving onto this island Courtney I'm thinking you got you got some anger thinking you got some guys that you'd shove on this island yeah there's probably a bag full but of course none come to mind right now I don't know that's a tough one it's your it's your big chance in the sun I know my big chance um, like let's see Conway Twitty uh, What's his name? Lionel Richie, uh, Dion Warwick, Hall and Oates, and uh, there's always one other that I really love. I can't think of it. Anybody, uh, anybody else from the island of uh, people you hate? Hmm. Maybe the entire WCCO news team. 
Any particular reason or just to... <laughs> um, because they're making my news. <laughs> and damn it, I don't want any news. Right. Yeah, dimension on dimension. I haven't figured that one out yet. There's dimension on dimension on? Yeah, that was the uh, that was the big ad campaign that we're running was, uh, it's Channel 4, dimension on dimension. We're going to go behind the scenes and show you how we go behind the scenes. It was really, you know, just the ads were really dumb. But news bugs me. That's why I'm on TV. Who would you put on the island of people you hate? I don't know. I don't Come on, there's got to be a special someone that you'd uh, sense to eternal damnation. Uh... Chuck Connors. Any particular reason for hating Chuck Connors? No, just I couldn't think of anybody else. Take it. 
Guys, thanks a lot for talking to us. You have one thing, you want to say one direct special message that you'd like to give to the youth of America. Right out there. Courtney, this is your chance. You're supposed to ask Jim first. Jim always goes first. But audience of America, the world is watching. Each night I ask the stars up above, why must I be? Okay, Jesse, here's your chance. I don't really have anything to say to anybody. <laughs> well, just, a, just a general thing you can say, uh, just uh, no one special message? No, everything's all right all the time. You should have had us write this down.
Well, soul brothers and sisters, that about wraps it up for this special extra ultra funky edition of What? I'd like to thank our guest Bunny for sharing a special part of their groovy universe with us. I'd also like to give a special thanks out to our friends at Total Music Systems. You guys are the keenest. Don't forget to tune in next time when we've got our special friends, Bone Club. Have fun, and remember, keep on rocking in that free world.